Hello and welcome to The Day Ahead. It is Monday, August the 15th. I'm Andrew Gagan. Let's get across to see what happened on overseas markets on Friday. Wall Street rallying as investors took comfort in slowing inflation data that may indicate that inflation has peaked in July. And the bull market could now be underway. Both the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 posting the longest weekly winning streak since November last year. The S&P 500 is up 17.5% from a mid-June low as banks extended their rally for a sixth straight week. Stock specifically, shares of Walt Disney up 14% by the end of the week, capping the best week since 2009 after the company reported better than expected subscriber growth for its streaming service and said it would raise the price of Disney Plus by 38%. Looking to this week and retail sales are in focus after a string of retail giants issued profit warnings, Walmart, Target and Home Depot are all set to release quarterly results and July's retail sales report is out on Wednesday. Well, US input prices fell for the first time in seven months in July, down 1.4% as the dollar strengthened and fuel prices eased, but import prices are still running at an annual rate of 8.8% while export prices fell by 3.3% in July, but are more than 13% higher on a year ago. Meanwhile, consumer sentiment has improved with the University of Michigan index rising from 51.5 to 55.1 in August. And Richmond Fed Reserve President Thomas Barkin has said while evidence of slowing inflation is welcome, he said he wants to see inflation running at the Fed's 2% target for some time before stopping rate hikes, saying there's still more to come to get into restrictive territory. US Fed fund futures are pricing in a 55% chance that the Fed will raise rates by 50 basis points at its next meeting next month. And on Friday, US 10-year yields fell to 2.84%, while the two-year lifted to 3.25%. Major currencies are mixed against the US dollar, the Aussie currently trading at 71.2 US cents. Well, the local share market is expected to begin the week higher this morning. ASX futures currently up more than half a percent. Global oil prices have fallen despite supply disruptions in the Gulf of Mexico which are seen as temporary. Brent crude down 1.5% to $98 a barrel. Iron ore futures have fallen 1% while base metal prices were mostly weaker and the gold futures price is up half a percent to $1,815 an ounce. And the crypto market strengthened over the weekend with Bitcoin trading above 24,000 US. Looking at the data out this week, overseas uh, on Monday, China releases data on production, spending and investment. In the US, the Empire State Manufacturing Report is released, along with a housing market index. Industrial production and housing starts come through on Tuesday, with the focus on whether supply chain issues are beginning to be resolved. Plenty of focus will be on the FOMC minutes, which could shed light on the timing and size of the net next uh, rate hike. And retail sales, the Philly Fed Manufacturing Index and weekly jobless claims come through on Thursday. Well, the highlight of this week on the macro front locally is the release of new monthly inflation report. That's on Wednesday, which comes alongside the wage price index. But the week kicks off with the RBA minutes on Tuesday. Investors will be focused on whether there was a robust debate over the size of the hike. And Thursday, we get the July jobs report and the average weekly earnings report. Among the companies reporting results today, Beach Energy, Bendigo and Adelaide Bank, Blue Scope Steel, Car Sales, and JB Hi-Fi. That is your day ahead. We'll see you again tomorrow.